What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds. So in this video I have quite a special announcement to make. That's right, we've been building Wolhampton for a whole year. Oh, I know, it's crazy. So today's video is going to be all about me taking you on a lovely little tour around town, showing you some of the sites, some of my favourite buildings and just some of the most important parts of town. So without further ado let's get on with the video and i can show you now on screen this is a map well a render of a bird's eye view of Wolhampton as it was in september 2019 so you may be thinking okay did you not have one earlier and i was like no i could not actually find the world file any earlier than september so september is when i started the server itself the wbc builds server and from that uh this was the world that got uploaded so you can see there is many buildings missing there is just a few roads and the docks now if you compare that to this image now this is Wolhampton as it stands today and you can see the size difference is notable there are so many more things and that's what we're going to go explore today so come with me as we go wander around town and I hope you enjoy looking around the place as much as I enjoy showing it off to you guys let's take a look at what was the first building in Wolhampton. Now this was built on the 27th of April 2019 and it's a recreation of this image here. This is just a building on Nelson's Row or Captain's Row in Lymington. Uh, it's a six bedroom townhouse and for me walking past it I've always wanted to recreate it and, and bring it into Minecraft itself and you can see the scale and size of it is very different to what we build around Wolhampton normally. Now that's another notable thing of everything down Villa Street here. They've all got these single block wide windows, which is how I started doing this town because it's actually more realistic to build like that. But for Minecraft's sake, it's hard to get details in. So we opted, well, not just we, but I myself opted for building windows too wide so you can get that nice detailing in there. So where, we are, where are we? So <laughs> that's another question. We're on what is known as the Avenue that way, Villa Street this way, and over this way, it will be the future Kings Square. We'll come back to that later on in the video when we explore areas that are going to be built in the future. So behind me you've got a couple of villas, these are very large Victorian and Georgian houses. Did a whole showcase on that one so go check that out. I think I'll put the little thing up in the corner now and this one here was included in that video and these were again early buildings that I built. The red brick one was actually built in 2014, uh, sorry 2015 and copied over from an old world. This one was built here and again it's slightly off on scale wise. I was still trying to find my feet in building in this style because I hadn't been building for nearly three years at that point in time and yeah it was good so this is where it all started and then from here we're gonna go on sort of a history tour now of where I, I built the next buildings so if you come with me down Villa Street we got the railway in uh, here which we featured in our uh, five pubs of Christmas uh, that was quite a fun episode again check out that's gonna be loads of different episodes I'm plugging throughout this whole uh, video because got a lot already toured and explored on Wolverhampton and what you're seeing now is the start of stuff that no you know is, is brand new and interesting you've got the town halls copola sitting over the train line there you've got the uh the signal box from the train station in front of me there and this way we've got the Lymore Park monument so compared to how it looked 12 months ago this this was it you had this building these three buildings here that street and that was it and I was pretty happy with it and I was you know doing my bit and adding bits and bobs so the next part that was added was the high street over there so if we wander back up Bridge Street uh, back up Villa Street now and go towards the high street I'll show you a few notable buildings along that road so we're passing under the railway here for the first time there'll be a few more times we'll have to pass either under it or over it, I think under it and what we have over here is a beautiful riverside mansion uh, that was my first time lapse build actually on the channel and I really liked that one again it's a smaller scale but it still holds quite a nice bit of grandeur and it has the uh, the pink terracotta look to it which is quite common along a lot of buildings in, in England at this time period. So we're now passing over the canal looking across there to the town hall again. Now the town hall is possibly my favourite building in town just because of the way it sits on the high street and you can see it pretty much everywhere and what you are also seeing if we just zoom in slightly is a couple of the newer buildings i've added to town but they are meant to be really quite old so it was white um white concrete powder one here next to a little monument which is a drinking fountain and then a warehouse built at an angle to suit the bridge in front of it 
Now moving on here to the high street itself, if you cast your eyes to the left, you can see uh, a nice big red wall road. Now that is going to be the other part of the high street that I have actually never planned until yesterday when I came on and drew a big red line. So this isn't going to be called the high street, it's going to be called Sutton Road and it's going to travel on down there towards the town of Sutton which will be a seaside town I build in the future. I'm really looking forward to doing that uh, so we'll get onto that once we're done with Wolhampton and the surrounding villages. There will also be another church down there just by that tree line you can see in front of me. There'll be a nice sort of medieval church which will be again a similar style to the one we've got up there but without the copla on top so that brings me on to the high street we're actually going to go venture up around the other side known as password way so we're walking past uh the three sister pubs so we've got the avenue hotel the uh, royal oak and then the thomas trip over there which obviously it was a joke in one of our videos the victorian high street or the british high street video tour uh, so check that one out again another link up in the corner god i told you i'm just going to be putting out loads of plugs for everything in here so you'll notice around town as well i've also included sometimes uh, street signs so you know where you are we've got the avenue here and then we've got password way which is the section of townhouses and um, roads that goes past the password canal basin now this was an early part of town that i built i really liked how these buildings turned out these are based on summit southampton and they were part of episode three of my let's build warhampton and this just is lovely i love this part of town this would actually if it wasn't for the train station and another area of town we're going to go on to in a bit this would be my favorite just because of how you come and stand up here you look across the basin towards buckland place and you can see the monument sitting in front of that beautiful regency style house this big old monument there and then you've got the imperial hotel sweeping off down that way down the hill so we come past another one of Wolverhampton's pubs this could be class of the pub crawl but we aren't going to do that just yet we might do that in the future if you guys recommend it in the comments below that'd be a great way to show off the town again once we build a few more buildings later on so like I said we're coming up towards the imperial hotel sitting opposite church park now this was where I started off my Let's Build Wolverhampton series, I know it was a bit strange that we didn't start like with the Market Square or something like that. They were time lapses. I was trying out a lot of things during the early stages of Let's of Wolverhampton. So eventually, I decided to do an actual like Let's Build series, and this was the building we started with. Looking off down there, you can see Canal Walk and the uh, Buckland Terrace, a nice big diagonal building down there on the end we probably won't venture down that way just sort of today because we've been down there before and if you want to go check that out you can see my uh, Wolverhampton 2019 in review episode this was more of just a what's new and what's changed in the last few months because 12 months is a long time and as you saw on those images at the beginning I've built a ton now to be honest these are all independently built by myself a few have had people you know come in and get involved but apart from that they are all mine that as in I, I have laid all the blocks down for them planned them all out in my head and just you know taken a lot of them a lot of inspiration from real life but as I mentioned in my building videos a lot of them are just plucked straight out of my head uh, especially this one here park corner uh, pub another pub as we know how we operate here in Wolverhampton uh, this was one of my favorite buildings once it turned out originally uh, if you actually look back at the time lapse you can see I was trying to build it with different blocks I think I was going for oak instead of uh, wood uh, instead of bricks sorry it just didn't work but eventually when I turned it out and went okay let's do it with bricks and, and granite and this nice dark oak base oh it's actually it is one of my favorite favorite buildings and it is like probably this this image here is one of the key images to show off Wolverhampton whenever I post screenshots of it and that was the case until as you look up this high street now until I built the Wolverhampton banking group HQ overlooking at the entirety of the high street with this beautiful uh, roof built it sort of in a French style but still it is just honestly the most striking building I think I've ever built and yes, it is the second time I've built it, but I do prefer this version of it. You can see next to it, we've got the Whiteberg Building Company HQ for Wolverhampton as well, which again is a beautiful neoclassical building, just 
overlooking and dominating the high street. And when I started out building Wolverhampton, I had no ideas what would be sitting on that high street up there. Because as you, well, if you if you want to cast your minds back to when it all started, this was it. The, the market square here, the big church in the middle, based on St. Thomas's Church in Lymington, been through that many a times. But this was the main big building. Then you got the town hall, which dominated the high street. Then you got these two massive sister buildings, which just ah, oh, do you know what I love it? I love coming here and just looking up at this one because you feel small, but you don't feel completely dwarfed. It's still proportionally correct, and you you feel like you're in a big town somewhere, and you are just looking up at this humongous building. So we're going to walk through just quickly and gaze over the t uh, the market square for people that haven't been here before. But this was a very early part of town that I built. It was my first narrated time lapse this area, and it was it was good. But again, you can see I was doing these smaller buildings. They do look, you know, uh, correct in in the real world, but in, it just in Minecraft they do look a bit small and a bit. The details are just aren't there. And you can tell I was using a different texture pack as well because of the different blocks that were being used. But shh, don't tell anyone. I just showed you that. And then we got these other couple of buildings here along the market square and the mayor's house at the end. So until the town hall was built, that was the main operating centre for the mayor, and and you know they did all their main uh, administration jobs there. And then we look off down this way, down Bridge Street, which has had many a time me touring around that because it was my favourite part of town until we built this bit. Just look at it. Look at it gaze across the market square like that. Uh, honestly, I, I, I was I was worried, so worried that it was too big. But now, the way it casts itself across all the vistas of town, ooh, it's, it's perfect. Anyway, I'm rambling on about that building a bit too much. Should we wander on down to the train station, uh, past the rest of the high street, and we'll have a little talk about that, and then we'll move on back over to Lymore Park, which is most possibly my favourite part of town. Not too sure yet. But here we are, down in the main upper heart, upper part of the high street, that's quite hard to say. And you can see these buildings are just humongous when you look at them. But, as I said before, they're, they're in proportion. You've got these Georgian shops here, one with a nice pagoda uh, roof, and then you've got the bay windows in the middle there. A bit more of a Victorian build there. And then you've got the Theatre Royal, which I would love to do the inside of, as I said in the uh, latest episode of our Let's Build Wolverhampton, because it's quite a big building, and getting all the seats and all the little uh, pods and, and that in there would be great fun to do. So hopefully I'll get around to doing that at some point. And then we wander on down towards Jubilee Park, which is opposite the new area of town. So this huge swathe of land you can see in front of me here of just brown concrete dust and dirt, will eventually become the department store. Uh, I haven't actually decided on a name for it yet, but we'll get to that once I start building it. It's based on a building called, I think it's Tyrrells and Greens. It used to be in Southampton. They had this beautiful um, big department store building that got bombed, unfortunately. It was replaced by Debenhams in the end, but it, it just never did it, did it justice. But what does do a building justice in town here is this park in front of the train station. Oh, so there's a video of us touring the train station, me and Jamie. Another plug, I don't know if I run out of card spaces or not. Well, let's wander on down to it, because this is my favourite building in town. Apart from the Crescent, again, we'll get on to that later on. But built in 1840 or 1839, this is Wolhampton Central Railway Station, and it sits here gazing over Jubilee Park, formerly Imperial Park, and then what will be the main road into town from Westbourne, and then the department store. So like I said, we have the, the Grand Hotel here sitting on the corner of Jubilee Park as well. And then we have Devonport Street looking down there towards my favourite building again, the Town Hall. Look at it. Ah, oh, I just love it so much. So all of this is me trying to use a lot of real life uh, inspiration. I just cram it into town as best as I can. And it doesn't matter the building's don't physically sit near each other or exist in any of the same towns. My ideas have been I get inspiration, I get inspired from anything and everything that I see online, uh, any you know, Google Earth and anything like that, looking through it all, and then you just compile it into the world and you start growing a town up like this. So for me, this has been a labour of love for the last 12 months. And I, I like the video creation on the side as well obviously limits how much I can do in town which is why for my expectations I was hoping to have done more especially when I have world edit and all of that as well but 
realistically, no. I, I believe I'm going at the pace that is actually correct for it all. And to be perfectly honest with you, oh, I love it. I'm in love with this building still, with the light coming over the top there. So let's wander back down Devonport Street. So like I said, we've got I've got several videos on the train station already. There's no point me trying to show you around the inside, but there's another pub right there. Uh, we, we walk down this mainly residential street. But the other point is there's, there's a pub there as well. And there's also a pub there. God, somebody help me. There is a real, real problem with alcohol in this town. Ah, another sign. So this is Parlour Lane. Looks back up there towards the Market Square, towards the Mayor's House and the Parlour or the uh, Market Hall. And as I mentioned earlier as well, that was the only building in this area. Before that, there was, you know, none of this. And these beautiful, beautiful buildings. Right, let's make our way back down under the bridge, back into the docks, and then we'll start walking down Dunstan Road towards Lymore Park. Right, okay, so we're going up Dunstan Road now. You can see the time has changed from when we were here a second ago. Yeah, the sun's now setting, and I, I think this gives the best view of the clock tower that you could possibly see. The sun set across it with all that rustication on it, all of those stairs giving the details that they need. The end rods at the top lighting the way and the flag, obviously, of Whiteberg there. So, looking across the canal docks, there's a lot of work here to do. St Why have I got auto jump on? Okay. Anyway, looking over there, <laughs> you can see the uh, the bridge across the river is not complete yet. But there is a scope to have it done soon enough. So, without further ado... Let's wander up the road and see a few of these very large, very fancy Regency townhouses. So these are older buildings along this side, just Georgian ones. But then we have these beautiful white beasts that sit and straddle Dernston Road. So we have the one with the bow window. I've done a tutorial on that. Beautiful, great fun. Uh, and then we've got these three identical buildings here, which is known as Brookley Terrace along Dernston Road. And they'll be joined soon by some more down the end there. On my right-hand side, we have a building known as Boscombe House. Now, Boscombe House was built here first before all of this, uh, and over time, the land was sold off that it had. It helped pave the way for the King's Square, which is this big plot of land right here. So, if we jump forward, I'm going to say two months, let's say two months, and there will be a video of me building the King Square, which is going to be a really nice, fashionable Georgian square, nice townhouses around it, and a nice big park in the centre. It's going to look exquisite, if I do say so myself. So, as I mentioned before, this is the bit where I was going to show off some of the new areas of town. So, we are flying at the moment, because it's the best way to have a look, but you can see in the distance over there, we have a body of water. Now, that wasn't there previously. That is the Lymore River, which I've made mention to many a time. And it's also the, the river that gives this area its name. So you can see the Lymore Park Crescent sitting there overlooking the whole of the town with the, um, the massive clock tower in its center acting like a sundial when it comes down and points at each of the buildings. I mean, the, it doesn't make it all the way down, but you know what I mean. Uh, and these will be greeted with more townhouses that are similar in style around these areas. You can see I've got uh, it already laid out with this, this building material just to make it look like it's being worked on. So eventually there'll be a row of townhouses down there and a row of townhouses down here around to there. And there'll be a couple more semi-detached ones here. When it comes on to this other part, this is Lymore Lane or Lymore Park Lane. These are going to be humongous big white sort of painted Victorian houses so you can see I've started one here this is just one house it's obviously it's not going to be just a square box there's going to be more to it so the whole reason I started um like changing this area up making it terraformed is because I built this this plan and went oh there isn't enough space I had to move a hill and so that led me to uh, terraforming an entire river and then all the land down this way let me just um change my speed quickly up to five and we can have a quick gander at it. So when you come down this road, you'll have options of three roads to turn down, and these will take you across this obviously unterrained, uh, unleveled place towards these areas where there'll be more houses of the same stature in them, 
and they'll just look beautiful overlooking the, the, the lake and then the forest over there which will have a few more houses in eventually so I'm going to bring us on to this little area here this is behind Villa Street and behind those houses we looked at before and this is going to be a spot of a, a nice big Victorian brick house so I'm going to build that next and I would love to do a tutorial on that for you guys Anyway, that's us digressing on this new area. Let's travel back up this road at high speed, I know. And we'll have our final sort of takes on the uh, Limewall Park Crescent. Just look at it. This is my favourite building I've ever built, ever. Period. So, it was massive. You know, it's a huge task. I did copy and paste one side onto the other, just because of the sheer ease of trying to build two halves of this. But this building, it, it, it's just, it screams Georgian, it screams pure architectural beauty. And we are going to have to look at it from the sky again, because you can't get it all in just from there. And then you've got the Limewell Park train station, so we have done a whole showcase on this place. So check that video out as well. I'm just going to have tons of uh, links in the description for you guys to check out more and more of my showcase videos if you haven't already seen them and we're going to come around to the back here and you can see the railway cottages that sit behind here now this area is probably the most peaceful most rustic looking place you'll ever find in Wolverhampton. this is how i wish to build the little villages and the little towns around it these unmade roads uh, pavements and then just these small little houses and you've got the soft light coming in through the trees and it's just this area, even though you are looking upon grandeur from the back and you've got all of these lovely big windows and gardens, I wouldn't mind living in one of these small little two up, two downs because you've, you've got this beautiful lake behind you now. Anyway, let's venture up this road towards the final building in Wolverhampton, the Toll House. So you have to pass through this building in order to gain access into the town. It's on the main road between here and Offenburg and the whole sort of west of the country. Or is it the east? East of the country. And this was just a random building I did. Uh, I have explained in the video it was all about uh, a building that was actually in Southampton again. It was the, the ferry crossing house. And yeah, so we are now at the extremities of the town crossing over the River Lymore. And oh god, don't look at that. And taking one last gaze back into the sunshine as the town falls apart from behind us and hopefully I can walk through this without crashing into a wall because it's not actually level. So guys that has been my one year anniversary little showcase of Wolverhampton as we pull back like this. Um, uh, thank you for following around the whole city with me and thank you guys actually for following this entire process and this project. It's been so much fun to do and the actual response and support I've been getting from you lot is makes it even more you know i want to keep doing it i want to keep growing it and, and seeing where we can take it now, as i've mentioned before Wolverhampton isn't whiteburg it isn't this place it isn't the, the town or the city of whiteburg it's its own town within the country of whiteburg and we have many many more towns to build many more villages so come with me as we go through that journey, as we as we travel through the years, as I build this world up, we go through different versions of Minecraft and we do all of that. But yes, if you guys want to come on and see this world, the IP is on screen, it's in the description below. Come have a look. We're on 1.14 still, uh, because I haven't updated because the mods are a little bit laggy still. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.